Welcome to Love Them Knives. We've got knife testing batch eight and we've got a group of knives in here. And uh, I thought we'd go over them until the edge. Here's Best Tech Man Today, done by Lucas, uh, Selena's son, and uh, Finiso, uh, Sativian. And uh, these are Vost, are, these are, <laughs> shit, that's a Vostid knife. I'm sorry, these are a Met. Vostid, Remet. Okay, we're going down the line. This way to this way. And so these are all the same, these Remets. And these are the RT Peregrine, like Peregrine Falcon, okay? And Remet contacted me directly through messaging and Instagram and asked me if I would, because they know about my testing thing, they wanted me to test their M390. They wanted me to test these knives. So they sent me three knives, okay, that are all M390, and they're all the same model number, etc., or whatever. So I said, okay, because it's very unusual. Uh, I can't remember the last time a, a knife manufacturer company actually asked to get tested. You know what I'm saying? It's uh, maybe asking for trouble. Um, and so that'll be interesting to think about that. But these... Also, I've been getting guys that have said, let's talk about 14C and some of the user steals as opposed to Magna Cut and that kind of shit. Okay. But these are the M390 because this test batch is sponsored by Remet. I mean, there's, a, there's our commercial. Sponsored to you by the Remet RT Falcon. A lovely knife out of M390. And it's got that Storm Anno surround on both sides and a beautiful knife and really interesting. And what is crazy about Remet? All of a sudden, now I looked on White Mountain Knives because I do every once in a while and they send me, you know, promotional emails and stuff. And I look and they're carrying Remet. I go, what? I mean, I emailed Justin. I go, what? And he goes, yeah, I got a goodly number of them too. A goodly number. So you might want to pass that along to your audience. So, hey, you want to go on White Mountain Knives, get a remet? I mean, you can get them on Amazon too. I mean, that's where I was always getting them, you know, before. But LTK is your discount code, 10% off, you know. And these little dogs are getting there at the $200 mark. So that's 20 bucks, man. You can get you a dirty 30 for that, man. You know, save some money, save some money. Uh, so go down to Jack's Dirt Bar, get you some cold ones uh, and get the same knife, right? Uh, so that's really interesting as well. So, hey, there you go. Check it out on either Amazon or Why Mountain Knives. Go after it, okay? But some of these, Until the Edge and Fintiso, Sativian, no. Nope really well known and Remet getting better known but you know and you know these from the Amazon days are really inexpensive knives and blah 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 and $28 micarta shooters in whatever user steel and then all of a sudden here they come and they have been putting out nice uh, you know titanium knives all that kind of stuff for a while now but okay so let's go through these results and you might be interested in how they all come out. And let me see where I'm supposed to start here. Okay, so the top left is the Until the Edge 14C uh, 59.4 Rockwell. Okay, so yes, it is 14C. And here it is. Check it out. Until the Edge. I've done a video on this. It's called The Intro the intro okay uh but until the edge is the brand name buddy of mine that i knew back in arizona he actually he lived well he went to uh, arizona state in phoenix uh, he went there uh to school but he was already gone back to china by the time he and i came in touch with each other because he was working for another knife company and he was my rep guy that I talked to. So we talked back and forth about Arizona and shit. But he liked camping and hiking and all that. So he got into that. And there's a fixed blade I have out there as well. And then this one called 
the intro because it's their first one, this introduction, and he's doing his own knife thing. So we're way cool on that. And yeah, so 59 whatever, uh, 59.4, not too shabby on 14C, that's fine. And then we got this little dog by Lucas, the man today. Uh, this is kind of like the mantis and stuff. So this is after a, a, a an insect as well. His younger sister doing the uh, cricket. Now he's doing the mantis. Ostapel was the collaborator with him on this. And I think also on the cricket with the, with the daughter as well. Okay, so Selena's son and daughter now both been co-designers on a knife and this one is in 14c and so let's check it out oh by the way you know i took the knives all apart and so where they got punched is around the, so you won't see the dinks on the blade because yeah i i did that and then here's the sativian and you can see there's that and that they got punched there so that's how they were tested. I didn't want the dots to show on the blade because these are all mine. And at some point in time, some of these are going to get sold off and people get a little mm, obsessive if there's a punch in the blade, whatever. So, okay, so we have the Mantate at 59.9. So basically a 60 Rockwell as opposed to until the edge. 59.4, so six tenths from one to the other on 14C, okay? And you can see 14% chromium. That's why it says 14C, okay? Um, and then the Cobra, what do we got on the Cobra? 59.3, so we're all wandering around in the 59 territory in the 14C. Also, basically a 14C, you'll see this recipe vary a bit here and there. But this is 59.3, and so this is a new company as well, and this is their Cobra series. They also have this knife out in 35, S35VN in uh, carbon fiber. But this is aluminum with a 14C blade, which is a hell of a lot less expensive than S35 with uh, carbon fiber. But uh, this is the one I did so far, and I they've got like, six different lines of knives with different names like this is the cobra series so they got like three or four models in this line and they got other series and another series and all this kind of stuff that are different designs right but they do variants in each design both upgrade and standard or whatever so that's what this is button lock etc etc and so let's jack it right back over in here and that is like I said 59.3, so they're all wandering around in the 59s, except really Best Tech is 60, so they kind of rang the bell between the three of them, but mm, probably not a whole lot of noticeable difference as a user, you know what I'm saying? So, and then we got Sativian down here, which is interesting because this is a uh, OS 10, or supposed to be OS 10, and I took it apart, and you know what? I wrote it down as 14C because my brain went on vacation or something, didn't take my body along. And so I sent that in. And so I don't have a determination uh, except for if you look at, look at the Sativian here. Vanadium, look, look at this. There's some vanade. Look at the chromium. Chromium's about the same, about 14%. But then you got the Molly. Yeah, there's a little bit, a little. You know what? The difference between 14C and OS 10 might not be much. So I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna get with them because this thing and it's acid wash, right? I mean, this is that black blade. And I thought about that later, and I go, I better screwed the pooch on this one because you shouldn't do coated blades. And this is acid wash, not really coated not like a dlc so i don't know this is like a let's just call it 58 but 58's not great okay but this is a you know a budget banger from sativia not their best efforts you know i mean just their regular super budget thing it's the acorn mini and yeah it's about the same hardness as all the other 14c that we've tested so 
here it is. Uh, no, it's not supposed to be a 62 or anything like that. But yeah, and I think it's supposed to be like 58 to 60, maybe at the most, or maybe 57 to 59, somewhere in there. I'll have to look that up. I also, you know what, and on these test videos I do, I put a link to a spreadsheet that Blade Matter has been keeping for years. And you can look down that whole sheet of, there's like 500 knives listed on there of all different steels, all different brands, okay? So you could go down that one road that says 14C and you can look and look at the next thing over to the actual hardness and you can see, and then you'll see if it's green or yellow. If it's in the green, that means it is within the, the stated range that we thought was acceptable hardness, okay? And if it's in yellow, then no, is below or whatever. So check it out. But all these 14 Cs have all run 15, what, 50, 59.2 to about 59.9. So, okay. I mean, maybe that'll satisfy some of you on how the 14 C is looking uh, on these different uh, brands. And then this is... The big banger, because these are the people that actually paid to sponsor this video, which is very nice of them. And Remet, uh, I like their knives. They're coming up. White Mountains picked them up now. They're getting noticed. Uh, I know I know a lot of guys are picking them up and, and checking them out, both the budget models and these higher end things. I'm, I'm into the higher end ones. They're way cool, okay? Uh, also, I just got this one, the B-E-E, -E, like B, like B sting, right? And this is a little seven inch dog right here from our mat. And it's nice, but if you want to get stung, get stung, buddy, get stung. So pick your teeth after you get done with that. Good old picnic out there in the, in the summertime in the mountains. No, I'm just saying uh, it's kind of interesting. They go, it's, it's B, B E E. So, I mean, Remat's always the RT. This is the RT Peregrine. Okay, this is the RT B, B E E. So, I'm thinking that this is the stinger, right? And it's kind of interesting. And I remember a wee knife or somebody that did a little thing where there were tweezers or something came out of it. But so that's what this is. Interesting, I'll be talking about this further. And these Remet knives are interesting for another reason. This is a button, okay. So this is a liner lock, right? Of course, look at this. Yeah, of course, it's a liner lock, right? Okay, so you got to do this and, and drop it, right? No, you don't. Because you can do this and drop it. See this? Okay, so this is one of those pivot button locks, but not doesn't work like a button lock button lock. And boy, the pivot button locks they've been coming out with recently between <sighs> Bostied, Riot, Remet, and others, they've all been different systems. Very fascinating that they have. But this, you can just unscrew this with your thumb, right? There's no way to get into this. I'm going, how am I going to disassemble this? Well, I ended up figuring it out because I disassembled all these to have them tested, right? You just unscrew this. You might be able to figure out a little way to make a little tool for this, but you can just, you know, unscrew them. And there's a spring right under here. What's the Aurora truffles? Aurora knife truffles also a, yeah. So this way you don't have to get your fingers in the way. And ooh, they're solid, you know, check them out. Nice hardware, everything like that. They ain't giving them away because they're all past that. I mean, they actually start believing in their product too. And that's why they're into doing this. They want to get things, they want to get feedback from people, okay? So let's talk about the hardness because they claim 59 to 61. So I'm testing them to see. Are they 59 to 61 range? And you know why? Because uh, apparently they want to check out whoever is doing the heat treat over there. Okay? That's all I can guess, right? They want confirmation. Published. Okay? Here it comes. Um, and so here's the, the three different ones. 
And we, we're running anywhere from a 59.6 to a 60.3, okay? So this is a 59.2. Okay, so 59.2 to 59.6 to 60.3. So you can look at the ingredients. Of course, you've got vanadium. Yes, this is M390, of course. Uh, 20% chromium, close to 20 close to 20, like 4% vanadium, blah, blah, blah. That's M390, all that kind of stuff. Not a problem, but now I told them that this is what I gave them the results and they were very happy because it's hitting between 59 and 61. They're stated Rockwell. Well, I said, but, you know, I'm trying to kill the buzz, right? Like, See, enthusiasts over here, we really would prefer 60 plus, and really we would prefer 61 plus, you know, and they're like, oh, okay, well, we're, we're, we were concerned about retaining toughness, you know, and I know there was that argument about getting chippy if they get too hard and blah, blah, blah. Okay, so, and I think we've, I think we've talked about it enough in the knife community to believe that we can hit 61, 62 without worrying about it being too chippy, you know, too brittle, that kind of thing. Or at least I think most of us have, you know, decided that that's, that's good. But, you know, all I got to say is they are within everybody else. I mean, you can check whoever you want, all the Italian makers, all the USA makers, all these people nobody's hitting 62 on a regular basis in fact i i haven't i haven't found a 62 other than one no and it wasn't a usa knife <laughs> it was another it was another it was a clone thing oh my god it was back on batch seven okay but i had this one tested and this is my M390. I've had it for several years. And I was like all up, oh, this is going to be a 62. I'll bet, mother. And no, it's a 60.5. So I was hoping it'd be at least a 61 plus, but it wasn't. But, you know, and then, ooh, if you look in that spreadsheet I give you down below, look at the, oh, my God, look at the uh, Spyderco Mule. I think it's like a 58 or something. I was surprised because Spyderco hits it. They hit it. I mean, I have the utmost confidence in their heat treat. And I was surprised. I was like a, a double take. And I don't remember who put that into the test group or whatever. But okay. But I was just looking down the M390s. And you know what? I did it because I saw these. And I go, how many M390s were 62? None. How many were 61? almost none how many were like below 61 yeah the rest of them were like high 58s to low 60s so these guys are doing as good as anybody but i'm gonna ask them to look at the comment section and make their own decision if they want to raise the rockwell okay and that's all i'm saying about it that's good i am so happy that they sponsored this test batch and that they are the kind of people that want to put it out there and have a public discussion, okay? Max Ace was another one that had a big discussion on Instagram about the Rockwell heat treating on MagnaCut. And I think it's great when, they, when the manufacturer gets out there and starts talking to people about what do you want? Here's what we're thinking. Are we not jiving and you know what the bottom line is the customer is always right so i mean regardless of your concerns about chippiness or that kind of thing or losing toughness it's a combination of science and customer demand and really if the science supports being able to go higher rock well then and and your customers want that i think that's two out of three baby okay i'm gonna shut up which is unusual and I'm going to let you guys go. I appreciate you. Um, and I just wanted to get this out. And yeah, check Ramat out on, um, on Amazon. And also look at White Mountain Knives and get your LTK discount code and get 10% off whether you get a budget brand or, or one of these new schmancy button things here. These are way cool. All right. Take care and stay sharp.